guys, Timinators, and welcome back to the channel. So I hope you all are doing fantastic today. And I was inspired by Sims Free Play Architects. You guys should definitely go check her out and subscribe. I just watched one of her remodel videos. She remodeled the Dark Secret Home, and I will link her video down below. And I love what she did with the home, and it inspired me to do a remodel. So I've decided that I'm going to remodel the player-designed home. So this is what it looks like. So we've got some outdoor, I guess, I don't know what you would call this, an outdoor area. It's just kind of scattered and everywhere. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what's going on here and also um I meant to say please excuse like lack of energy in my videos in my recent videos I'm sorry if like my energy is not that up there I am trying to get a lot of videos out there so my voice becomes hoarse or like a little little horsey and then I upload late at night so I'm filming a video at like 10 p.m. and I'm really tired and <laughs> so I'm sorry about that but anywho looks like we've got like I don't know a kiddie pool and then a random tree here it's just popping in it's like hello from the other side. <laughs> and this is the entrance over here and you're hit with this like blue ugly carpet we were given this home when the game first came out um and we've got this ugly blue carpet <laughs> i mean if you like it but you know and then this white wall and we've just got a lot of old furniture. It's just not very cohesive. And then for some reason you walk right into a game room. It's like, well, <laughs> you know, it's kind of stupid. It's like, well, crap. You know, you walk right into a freaking game room or a playroom. And then to the right we have this hallway. And then to the right we have the bedroom. Again, a lot of old furniture, very base game furniture. Um, and then, if you keep going straight, you get into the kitchen. This is not a bad kitchen, honestly. With the way it's set up. I don't like the flooring or the dining room. But we will change that. And then this is the living room. Again, some ugly carpet, some ugly walls. <laughs> and these are outdoor plants, I think. I don't know. They look like it. But anywho, again, old furniture. This entire house has really old furniture. And then this, to me, looks like a game room. So again, we have the white wall, the blue carpet. This is the bathroom. And that tree is, or that plant is, like, way too big in there. This looks really awkward. And I forgot to mention, there's a little hallway here as well. And then this is the girls' room. I mean, I have nothing to complain about the girls' room, except for the walls and floors. But, I mean, it's pretty cute. Except there is, you know, some older furniture in here that I'll definitely change. But yeah, this is the entire house. And it's built on the Japanese um, plot here. Or the Neo-Tokyo plot, I believe. Not exactly sure. But we are going to completely change up this home. And we are going to make it a beautiful... I don't know. I don't know if I want to make it like a starter home. Or, or just a, like a regular like one bedroom... Family. I think I'm going to make it a regular one bedroom family home, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you an overhead view. And this is what it looks like. Again, not that cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. And for this, I cannot change any of the walls, um, like the structure. I can change the walls and floors, of course, like the wallpapering and flooring. But I cannot change the structure of the home. So I have to leave this structure just like it is. But I can redecorate and take out and put in and change windows and doors and walls and floors. All of that. And I will see all of you in the next clip. <laughs>
All right, everyone, so we are at this stage of the house where all of the furniture is out, and it looks a lot bigger <laughs> without the furniture, and it looks like there's a lot more rooms for some reason. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started with decorating, and I will see all of you when the house is finished. Alrighty, everyone, so the house is finished, and it took me roughly, uh, I think, I would say 45 minutes to an hour, but I did put a good amount of thought into this home, and so starting off with the exterior, I literally just put a hot tub in here, one of the new hot tubs, and that was it. Nothing else would like center, none of the outdoor furniture would really center, and I was like, you know what, we can just put a hot tub here, it'll be fine. <laughs> and then this is the front entrance. So as soon as you enter to the left, we have the doors here where you can go out i know it's kind of weird to have like a door here and a door here but my thought process was i wouldn't want them to have to leave you know thinking realistically you know leave the front door and come around they could just come right through here and then to the right i have actually used a garage door because it opened up the space completely and to the right is the dining room so i have used the chalet dining set and added a little bar here because I thought it would look really, really cute. And I've done a feature wall. I've used the gold um, chic wall from the Chic Boutique. And then this is a little butler's pantry here. Um, that's what it's usually called when you can go from the dining room to the kitchen. It's a small hallway. And going through there, we get right into the beautiful kitchen. So I have the red crimson feature wall because we have the red kitchen appliances, some red accents, so I thought it worked well. And I've used the chic flooring and I think it looks absolutely wonderful. So you can go here through this galley or you can go from the kitchen to get right into the living room. So here I have used some of the new and old furniture. I've used a new little rollaway bar, a little um, L-shaped sofa, with some chalet items and some hair today gone tomorrow event items so again new and old furniture mix and the tv came from a pack that you had to purchase with your own money that is no longer available and then down this hallway to the left we have the master bedroom and you have a beautiful view to the outside and then this is the bathroom so i have the new toilet paper rack holder some towels and to the right i have the guest bedroom so I've used a very old designer bed and paired it with the new black silver chalet night table and then the silver overhang light from the Chic Boutique. I think you have to purchase this specific one with real cash. And then I've used this uh, side table or chest. I can't remember where I got it from, but probably an event. And then I just have a mini TV there so they can watch TV and a mirror. And that is the finished home. Oh, I forgot I forgot the pantry. <laughs> Can't forget the pantry, but this is the pantry. So you come from the kitchen right into the pantry. We just have the wine racks here. So they can bring out some wine. And that is the finished, complete home. I've turned this into a modern, luxurious, beautiful home. And for the exterior, I went for the cobblestone exterior wall. And that is the complete house. I do hope you guys enjoy this renovation. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy my content. I will see all of you Seminators in the next video. Bye, everyone.